Welcome to another episode of Smart Tips. I'm Jeff Gonzalez, and today I'm going to walk you through how you can set up your own custom project templates to be able to fire off anywhere from five to uh, 100 different tasks at one time based on what you need for your projects for your business or organization. Let's jump in and see. I'm going to give a quick orientation to this solution so that you can see a high level what we've incorporated here that's different from maybe a standard setup where I have a list of all of my projects and then those are linked to tasks. And in this case, I see that I've actually grouped by the projects that each of these tasks are associated with. And what's different about this setup that I'm showing here is there's another table, actually two other tables, um, the first of which is linked directly to projects. And that's going to be our project templates table. In this case, I've just clarified small and big project, but this is where you're going to clarify all of the different project template types that you may have for your business or organization. And these project template types contain tasks. Similar to what we saw on the tasks table, I've grouped these template tasks by the project templates that they're associated with. And so this is where you can define more granularly what these project templates consist of. We probably want to have the status in process. So immediately when we fire off these template tasks, you're ready to rock and your team is already working on those tasks. All the way down the list, we can see this is actually a pretty heavy lift. There's 22 different tasks for this project, right? And for this smaller project, we have only six. Now, when we look at how this works via the automation, I want to point out two more pieces that are really important. We can clarify the order of these tasks from least to greatest. In this case, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six down here, seven through 28 for these ones. And this is what's going to allow us to have order for the tasks once they're created on this end. Arguably the most important field, the field that makes everything tick is not what you'd expect. It's actually a lookup field. And so this lookup field is going to look at the link to project templates. It's going to look at this table and tell me what project exactly that's associated with this task template run for the automation. When we go in here to automations, like I mentioned, that project name lookup is what's going to actually trigger everything for the automation. And that can be found in the task templates table. But essentially when that project name changes from being empty to not empty, that's when we want to create records, right? So it's going to fire off individually for each of the task template records, and it's going to create a unique task over in our regular tasks table that essentially mirrors exactly what we saw on that end. So we have the title of the task, we have the status of the task, the order in which that task is going to come in, the priority. We can link it directly to the project automatically because we have brought that project name over in the first place. And then of course we can include who it was assigned to. Last piece, minor detail, but very important to make this a completely seamless automation is after that's all done, let's go and find the project that we ran this automation from. And let's update the project so that it's no longer linked to the template in the first place, right? If we watch this somewhat simple automation at work, we can see just how powerful it is. So I'm going to say example project. First, I'm going to learn how to type for video. I'm going to assign myself to it. I'm going to say that it's a normal priority. It's definitely in process now at this point, and it's not due till next month, the very end, this is going to be a pretty big project for us. And so immediately, if we come over here to task templates, we can see project name just populated now with that example project for video value. And that's going to fire off the automation. And now we can start to see them disappearing because that last step unlinked it from the link to project templates. And as we can see here, it created a number of tasks for us. How many tasks? exactly 22 because that is what we clarified on our task templates table and it is assigned everybody that's important to it included the priority and marked it in process a ton more that you can do here right in terms of including other fields for your task templates this is very simply how you can set it up and get started with task templates in smart suite